Good day, my friends, and welcome to episode 5 of the Sekhmet Tribe. Um, today we're going to break Hump's uh, resistance, finally. We're also going to build more recurve bows for the tribe. We're going to let meat rot because we don't make pemmican quickly enough, and also, I guess, I'll finally be able to do my first caravan today. So, let's keep going, shall we? Um, I need to get rid of those chunks for sure. They are crapping the, uh, the space here. Okay. So, um, it's not really cool if we uh, eat that pemmican. Oh, the ship to the stars. Uh, no thanks. So, let's uh, go for the food restriction. Yeah, so why not? Um, I mean, let's say the lavish... Uh, food uh, restriction doesn't eat pemmican. I mean, that's uh, completely okay. For now. I just have, want to have that stuff as a trading good for uh, for now and as a very, very uh, long-lasting food. Okay, so recurve bone number three. Perfect. Yay! Finally, Humps is going to be one of us. Recruitment chance is pretty high, so it's pretty not pretty not more. We're not gonna take long for that, I guess. So who grabbed the tribal wear out of Panthera fur? Transazen did. Oh well. I think it's okay if the uh, best crafter of the tribe is picking up this uh, piece of loot. I only think that's fair. Mm, the next one is going to be light leather. That's good too. So I'll need another poncho for uh, humps as well, because he's now one of us, like I said. Okay. Oh, I can do that out of Panthera fur as well, and it's going to be Transazen's job too. Okay. So I slaughtered all those lemurs. Well, at least something. Oh, we did a good one! Yay! All right. So let's see how long it'll take until Humps is finally recruited. And uh, also, I'm considering this uh, room to be—I don't know—maybe a workshop of sorts. Should be quite an idea. Don't you think? Gotta dig out another toilet here. Man, I love that mod. The uh, the hygiene mod really uh, adds up some realism into your uh, base that I really appreciate. Okay, I finally have researched the stone cutting. What can we gonna do next? Um, Grandma Anna's cookbook. I can do pies then. Okay, whatever. I don't even know where that's coming from, but uh, actually I'm going to research the cocoa trees because um, simple reasons. I'm living in an area where we can uh, grow things around the year. Um, with the tribal start, you start with the tree sowing technology, which is quite a costly one. And uh, so I can bring up my own luxu luxury uh, stuff to sell quite early in the game, way earlier than other uh, starts have the option to. And I really need money. <laughs> I seriously need money, and I don't want to uh, sell clothes forever. So that's why I want to research the cocoa trees first. But apart from that, I'm going to be doing a workshop in this room, once Humps is recruited, that is. And, uh, why should I wait? I don't need to. Um, we're gonna do the wooden stone cutters table here, and I'm gonna copy the settings of this dumping stockpile zone. I mean, I think I didn't configure much, but if I did, uh, forget something I, uh, configured back there, now it has been copied. And we're gonna dump or, uh, finished materials over here. So, there we go. Ch 
chunks, no raw resources, stone blocks and steel for now are going to live over here and they are the preferred, this is the preferred place for that. Okay. So we're finally start working with stones in a bigger way, like stone cutting that's, uh, that's high tech for us at least. Okay, to uh, speeden things up a little, I'm gonna add a door here um, into this wall because um, my cooks are really wasting time and I don't like that. Mmm, fresh tea. Um, oh, I, I didn't assign red to constructing. Oopsie. Okay. There we go. Am I actually able to do any floorings? Oh, well, out of stone I can do a lot of uh, floors. Wood is too rare. Mm. Okay. Let's cut some stones first. Okay. So, tomorrow I think I'm gonna uh, kill a few more animals and hopefully recruit Hums finally. And, uh, yeah. How about these beasties? They give a lot of plain leather. But uh, three giraffes are quite dangerous, though. There's another trio of those, but it, uh, well, the only alternative would be that solo kangaroo. So, uh, yeah, we're going to hunt that uh, kangaroo. And then I'm gonna uh, go after uh, Humps has been recruited. It's too spooky for me to hunt three giraffes. I don't know. When they go into pack revenge, I'm gonna be struggling hard. And then only one raid is necessary to kick me off balance completely. don't know. rather proceed safely here. So, Stork, come on, recruit him, recruit him, please. There we go, welcome Humps. You are now one of us. So, this guy is going to be, well, I don't know what we're gonna do with him. He's not really good at anything except for uh, melee. Oh well, another handler. That's good. He's a good fighter as well. So, Humps is now wearing not exactly what I was hoping he would wear, but it works out for him. Um, I'm going to give you a wooden club for now because that's the best I can offer. Is there any better weapon I can craft here? Oh well, a knife. A knife would be certainly better than a uh, club, so. Let's at least go for this. Okay, now then. I think I'm, I could earn a lot of money with uh, the animals. I think that's one of the best ways to uh, earn money apart from uh, the uh, clothes crafting. So, I'm gonna take Humps because he's good at social. And uh, he's gonna be accompanied by Trinsazen, why not? So, I'll set Humps as the rider of the zebra. <laughs> yeah, they won't uh, eat that stuff, but I'll, I'll change that in a minute. No problem. So, we're gonna pick up those short bows and all the other stuff. And then we're gonna go off. Off to the neighbors. And uh, I need to configure Transazen and Humps to a different uh, food restriction. Transazen and Humps. And now the uh, caravan should have uh, food again. Okay, so let's fast forward a little bit. Um. 
No, Humps should not be a hunter. Oh, let's uh, assign some jobs before they leave map. Um, of course, let's uh, set him up for wardening. He's my top priority handler. Yeah, why not? Entertain. Oh, entertain. Of course, we're having the guest mod again uh, uh, available. Yeah, and uh, I'm going to free up Transazen's schedule a little bit. So, and uh, he's going to be cleaning as well. Okay, that looks nice. Let's uh, go into map mode and let the colony be the colony. And there's cheetah meat running. Oh, I need I need coolers, okay? At some point I will need them. But for now it's just uh, we make pemmican out of everything uh, we can and the rest just will rot. I don't care. And now they have food for 13 days. That's how it works. All right, <laughs> all that meat. So, let's check. Those bows are really not worth much, but I expected that. Um, the clothes, though, are giving a lot more money. And, um, oh my gosh, they have an assault rifle. They have, have the assault rifle. We need the assault rifle. <gasps> yeah, take my pemmican. I'm gonna sell a lot of the pemmican. Oh, they have sheep. Oh. Anyways, we can directly go home to Red Stork's camp because <laughs> we have a true weapon now. Ratatata. Okay, that was some good trade. Awesome. Like, whenever I have a uh, assault rifle in my colony, I feel a lot safer already. So we have chalk. Creole marble and regular marble. Ooh, we have some beautiful things. Okay, marble, Creole marble, uh, marble, exactly. <laughs> and chalk. Okay, there we go. So I'll stop at 400 of each. And the ingredient radius is going to be quite slim because I don't want them to collect chunks from all over the map. There we go. So, do I have a top priority crafter? Not yet. I think uh, Red is a very good very, uh, very good candidate for that. So I'm gonna uh, free up his uh, schedule accordingly. Because having one colonist uh, constantly crafting should be really good. And uh, yeah, he's also good with that stuff. Why not? Um, Feasant is also a capable crafter, so there we go. I'm gonna assign humps to crafting as well, because, because with all these mods I have available, um, I can safely uh, have two crafters and there's gonna be enough work for everybody. So let's Gives hum give Humps his bed over into the beautiful uh, barracks here, and let's check out who's getting the uh, assault rifle. Oh well, it's gonna be Transazen. I'm gonna give that to my best shot. As much as I uh, think that Stork wants to have this weapon as the chief of the tribe, no. <laughs> Just no. Not okay with that. So Humps is lacking a sidearm. Seriously, you're gonna rub me in, rub it to, into me like that? Okay. Brawler will be unhappy. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what happened to the knife? Did I sell it off? There should be this knife somewhere. So my plan would be giving uh, him just two melee weapons to uh, get that colonist missing sidearm thingy away, but uh, for some odd reason, I don't know where that knife went, but okay. I'm just gonna craft another one once we're able to. I mean, I wanted to dig out the toilet anyways, so that's okay. 
Also, it's about time to think about reinforcements here. So we're having here marble blocks. I think chalk walls won't be uh, really resistant. Well, so I'm going to go for marble walls here. Just to uh, keep that area here safe too. And let's call this out as a ignore roof area. Or remove roof area. Let's do it like this. So there'll never be a roof here. You hear me? Never. Seriously, where did that knife go I crafted? I must have sold it with the caravan there. It's the only thing I can uh, explain it uh, with. I must have sold it and didn't notice it for some reason. So there's siltstone. Maybe I'm gonna go with siltstone. Yeah, let's uh, cancel those. Siltstone sounds like the stuff I want to build walls out of. Marble is such a uh, artsy uh, choice, you know. When I hear marble, I want to do beautiful things out of that. Walls are no beautiful things. So we're gonna do siltstone first. Also, my drago trees are growing nicely. But that's still a lack of wood here, so I'm gonna go for some chopping orders here. There we go. Just a few to keep my coolers and my uh, campfire running, because uh, that those 46 wood are not uh, getting me far here. Okay, so the siltstone is being cut. Now let's do that again. Um, there we go. Oh well. While I'm at it, I'm gonna do it a little bit bigger than before. So let's uh, expand that uh, roof area uh, thingy a little bit. And uh, let's just wait. There we go. Siltstone doesn't seem to be that uh, that much of a super stable uh, material either. Uh, maybe marble would have been better. <laughs> oh, whatever. Is this stuff like work to build? Well, 500%. No. Well, I feel like those walls uh, usually uh, are having more HP, and this one in particular should have more HP, but whatever. Okay. So, uh, upcoming plans will be replacing all these walls. Yes, all of them. Also these, because I don't, don't like the looks of that. So, I'll just give that order. It'll take forever until it's done, but I like to have those... Uh, huge uh, building projects in the makings for a while because it'll keep my people busy, you know? There we go. Major break risk. It's wrong, Transazen. Ah, depressive. Oh, poor guy. Naturally depressive. I think uh, we should uh, do something about that. And I have something in mind. So let's do another area here. It's gonna be another uh, zone where I don't want to have roofs, but I don't think I need to order that in particular. I just hope I'm right, okay? <laughs> if they can't handle it again, I'm gonna micromanage them, but for now, I'm gonna try to trust my colonists that they will do these walls and not put a roof over it. 
Okay, there's the knife build complete. Okay, so humps will. Oh, I'm really slow. As fuck. No! Okay, so let's check it out. Does it make him unhappy to have this uh, as a sidearm? Let's check it out. So, no, he's not unhappy because of that, so. No problem. Alright, then, wooden club 5.64, steel knife more, 18% versus 17%. Definitely gonna equip that steel knife. Okay. Oh well, I'm gonna do something like this for now. And fast forward things a little bit. Okay, once this uh, area here is set up, oh well, whatever, we're gonna do. We're gonna do it right away. We're gonna do a huge smoke leaf thingy here, and I'm gonna expand that one right away. That's gonna make Feasant happy, you know. Well, with naturally depressive people, they need some uh, something to make them happy most time of their lives. So let's not be mean and give Transa uh, give Transazen something against the depressions. Because mental breakdowns sure are uh, more problematic than just somebody being a little bit less effic efficient because he's stoned. I think that's a good trade-off. Because <laughs> overall, um, the major break risk on... Uh, well, now it's Feasant. Why, actually? Rebuffed by humps. Okay. She, uh, she tries to... She tries to go for the humps. Okay, let's let's check it out. Why didn't that check out? Fizen tried to flirt with Humps by describing ha him as a shining aurora. Oh, this guy doesn't. Uh, it's quite rude. I mean, she's definitely trying to hit him. So Fizen, are you ugly or anything? Uh, no. She's a brawler too. Come on, you should be. Uh, actually, of course you are. Uh, you are. You're gonna, you're gonna uh, understand it, Humps. I guess Humps is still a little bit, uh, well, maybe he thinks that uh, one day he'll not be here anymore, but uh, he's not, no, he's not fully assimilated yet. So the game got quite laggy because of all the building uh, replacement uh, orders lying around on the map. <laughs> okay, let's haul that chalk. So, uh, what I'm gonna do now is going to be something temporary. Um, everybody who's able to construct will now construct for a while. So I have those crafters still enabled, that's good. I'm gonna go hauling priority one for red now. So uh, he's got either gonna haul or cut stones, that's good. And now the whole colony is working on the stonification of our base. There we go. That's a that's a big step forward for us as a colony. And also frees up a lot of uh, wood resources because uh, of the replacement. Nice. Okay. Well, it's starting to be something here. Well. Monstrous structure. What does this quest offer? We're going. We're, we would get uh, nine units of hyperweave for building some building stuff. Hell no! Why should I build something for nine hyperweave? Can't even do anything useful out of that. So I don't see the value of that. Okay. Let's uh, grab all the siltstone chunks available on the map. Oh well. More like in the vicinity of my base for now. Okay. 
Okay, ready. Marked those. Let's check out. I think in this direction I didn't uh, plunder yet. Okay. Wow, that stuff is a real nice green. Oh, so many beautiful stones with these mods. I love it. Okay. So, uh, well, we ran out of blocks, obviously. But that doesn't matter too much. Okay, the corn harvest is getting in. And the potatoes as well. I don't. I, I wonder if the room uh, will be sufficient here. Okay. Oh well, Rarazot is already uh, learned to uh, two skill levels of uh, science while sitting here. That's good. Okay. I have a lot of uh, field work in this colony, but uh, I also have a lot of really capable uh, workers, so that's completely uh, okay to do this. So I am thinking about uh, trying to tame at least one more zebra, so I'm gonna tame both males for now, or at least I'm gonna try. And then I'm going to breed some of those. Or at least that's the plan. And now I get and now I grabbed that uh, assault rifle and I didn't even use it yet. So let's uh let's hunt something tomorrow. A rhino, for example. No. Those giraffes there, they look quite good for, to me. Mm. And the night owl is owling around. Okay. So once everybody has their stuff done, I'm gonna go for some hunting. Okay. Food. This mod is so useful to have a lot of different things uh, under control. Like, here you can check out that everybody is uh, well fed before we go hunting. So, let's go. Um, I need somebody on the zebra. There we go. gonna be the acro kiter because we have our hunting uh, rituals okay let's go well I'm not gonna stop with one of them so Let's ride. Okay. There we go. First of the baddies down. Oh, that's so much better. <laughs> okay, let's call them out for hunting real quickly and then lo and behold people carrying uh, huge animals alone back home like this guy is carrying alone a, a, a whole giraffe I mean at least there is no weight on it here but uh, well, I don't know what how many hundreds of kilos a, a giraffe really weighs but uh, these people they're just carrying it home alone don't mess with rim rollers, guys. 
they rip you up, uh, into pieces. Okay. Please refill the top. Okay, so then I'm able to do another uh, latrine in there. Awesome. Okay. So slowly but steadily, civilization is uh, coming to us. Um, I'm gonna do a lot more uh, tribal wares now, but all out of plain leather. Just plain leather. Where is it? There is it. Okay. Transazen's gonna do them. Alright. So I'm gonna give Transazen the uh, time and the schedule to uh, craft those uh, things. And there's our second zebra. Okay. Oh, I should actually uh, let these animals follow me into battle. They only guard. I can't release them, but uh, a uh, animal which guards you is also pretty good. And uh, this way, they'll always uh, follow into the battle to, uh, with their handler, which means uh, I don't have to uh, micromanage it too much uh, that the uh, animals will uh, follow into battle. And I'm just noticing that the room is getting a little bit uh, thin here in the freezer, so I'm gonna put up some <laughs> food storage settings here. For now. I just have too much food, but that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Certainly don't want to complain about having too much food. <laughs> and Feasant is hiding a little bit in the room. The final straw was sweaty. Okay. She's gonna hide in her room until she's uh, not sweaty anymore. You should go to the tub. It's way better. Oh, well. I guess she uh, just says because it, because it was uh, the sweatiness. I guess the rebuffing of humps uh, is uh, playing a way bigger role in her breakdown there. But that's okay. So I'm gonna dig out this uh, area a little bit deeper. And, uh, is there still siltstone to, to haul? Yeah, there is, okay. So. I'm gonna, uh, suspend all the other, uh, cutting, uh, jobs for now. So, uh, once the, uh, siltstone thingies are done, Red will start hauling again. And you can refill the tub while you're at it. Oh well. At least Red is preparing some stones for the people to work with tomorrow. It's quite nice. Oh, we're having a Kunzite club. This thing is uh, hopefully worth a little bit something, because that's a uh, gemstone club, but I don't have uh, big expectations there. Weapons are quite uh, low in worth if, if you are not having a mod for that. Ooh. There's so much feces in one latrine. It's amazing. Let's burn as much as possible from of that. Extreme break risk. Okay. Let's 
So right now, I'm really not having enough uh, burn pits here. Okay, so I gotta change something about that. So let's immediately burn another uh, burn another uh, build pit. You you should be able to see the mistake there. Um, no, jokes aside, uh, I'm not able to. Uh, if you uh, not able to burn everything at once so I have to uh, bring up more resources but I actually expected as much but I mean well burning that stuff is also a way to get rid of it without uh, getting ill so medieval style but here in Europe we did we weren't that smart to burn our feces not for a long time, that is. So I can mine out another marble here. There we go. I don't like uh, the uh, order of things uh, there, but uh, well, whatever. So red is going to be my top priority hauler for now. Okay. Oh, look at the smoke leaf plantation go. We're really getting somewhere here. And uh, also I start now to delete these zones because uh, they have uh, overcome their use. I'm now um, able to uh, have an own income of food and uh, I like these patches during the early game, but they are not that useful uh, as long as the game goes on longer. So, right now these uh, fields are only cluttering my work capacity without uh, bringing me too much of a benefit, and that's why we're stopping it now. It's giving me more time for uh, other way more important projects. So, uh, there should be somebody else who's... Uh, Falling here. Uh, well, not Arizotis because of the. Uh... Oh well. Let's call out Feasant as another hauler. Because she's only mining and cooking in general. And. Uh... There we go. Oh well. For now, at least. I'm gonna leave it at the one priority. I don't think that I want that uh, priority uh, um, permanently, but for now, it's quite good. So, how's Feasant's uh, cooking now? Oh, well. She's getting somewhere. Also, she's not really a good miner, but she's learning from it and, uh, She's enjoying her work, that's also pretty important. So, how's that tribalware bill coming? Oh man, I'm trying to uh, to get a hit with this stuff, but uh, there's just so much work everywhere. No. Rebuilding uh, all these areas in a base is, is always a big project. That's for sure. And right now I just want to make sure that we have uh, the siltstones in the colony we need. So I let uh, Red do a lot of hauling tonight. So that's that. Who's missing a sidearm? Humps is missing a sidearm? It's entirely not true. Well, whatever. This game should leave me alone with uh, the sidearm uh, discussion here. I don't want to hear anything about that anymore. <laughs> I just live with the fact that this is now uh, living here uh, in my sidebar and uh, that's that. Okay. Almost dug out the chieftain's cave completely. 
And the Anderson unification is raiding me. So uh, this is going to be a little bit of uh, more serious than usual. So let's check it out. Do they leave me time for breakfast or they do? Okay. So let's check. Um, Humps is needing some breakfast. Rarazotis is needing some breakfast. And Transazen is needing some breakfast. But that's something everybody does here. Nice. Okay. Okay, once uh, everybody's fed, we're gonna go for some slaughter. Okay. Whole colony this time, also red. Night owl this, night owl that. It's still early in the morning, so he can definitely do that. Okay. So, let's grab our malaise and, uh, well, I don't think that I'm uh, able to do anything smarter than uh, riding uh, in front of them and hoping that uh, my peeps will kill Anarchist first. Oh well. I like that. Anarchist. His job is an anarchist. Awesome. Okay. Let's run. And let's melee anarchist. And shoot a cherry. Okay. These guys haven't yet uh, begun their attack, so... Um, Rushing into them like this is actually really good for us, so now I'm going to... Oh, frick. I did a mistake there. Okay. But whatever. Oh, they're going to block our line of sight now. But oh well. I don't know if this was uh, so much of a good idea for the, from them, but uh... Okay, Rarazotis is dying from a gunshot in the neck. Ow. So quite brutal. And Rarazotis is only having some uh, bruises and uh, Fezend is uh, pretty much dying. Okay, so let's uh... Put up some sleeping spots and get everybody some medical care. Okay, there we go, those are the medical beds. So who was dying again? Uh, Feasant is dying for sure, so let's rescue her. Um, who was the other guy with the gunshot in the neck? Rarizotis, that's so uh, bizarre, considering how uh, little damage uh, she took, but uh, well, if you're injured where it hurts. Okay, so there we go. House Hump's uh, medical skill though. Oh, almost not there. So Stork is better with uh, medical. Okay. So I just want to take care that nobody's uh, bleeding out. There we go. And Red is going on some alcohol binge. Transazen is on a food binge. Yeah, well, why not? It's okay, guys. The alcohol binge is really harmless because uh, there's almost no uh, alcohol available here, so... Oh my goodness. Feasant is uh, a... Uh, a real collection of little wounds, so that's cool. So, I'm gonna... Oh, 
I'm gonna let Stork and Feasant uh, have some medical grinding, uh, grind out time there. Um, let's check. Rarizotis is still bleeding and wasn't treated, so. Okay. There's red. There's Rarizotis. There's Transazen. Okay, Humps, uh, you have to do this uh, because. It's that guy I ordered to treat her. Uh... Or, wait a sec. Oh, well, it's not better. Okay, whatever. Um, I was so sure I uh, I took care of that. Well, Feasant is a good doctor, huh? Good thing she's downed. Okay, but some simple blood loss we will be able to uh, stop there. I just hope the uh, infections are not going to be a problem. So did Humps actually now give a 32% treatment without medicine with medical level 1? I've seen people do far worse with way higher skills. Amazing. Okay, friends, so this is a good uh, spot where I want to wrap up this episode. I want to thank you for your time and attention, and I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I do. I hope you have something in mind you want to tell me down in the comment section below, or leave me some thumbs up, or a, even a subscription to my channel. Any of those would help me a lot. If none of those, just stay awesome, come back again, and have a good time. See you guys.